Hello students, today I am going to explain about basic concept of law. As we know, law is very much essential in a, each and every country. A human as a part of the society, it is very much essential to follow certain rules and regulations. So let me tell about the definition which is given by Austin. In the words of Austin, a law is a rule of conduct imposed and enforced by the sovereign, that is by the government. The meaning follows as it is. It's, it means the rules recognized and enforced by the state for regulating the rights and obligations of the people for securing justice peaceful living and social justice. As he is a human being, he has to interact or he has to have the contact with the people, maybe as a landlord with the tenant, as an employee with the employer, as an employer with the employee, as a customer with the seller or as a seller with the customer. When he is interacting or having contact with the people, there is very much essential to follow certain set of rules and regulations which is very much essential to have justice, peaceful living and social justice. Let me explain about essential features of law. First one, the law is a code of conduct relating to human action. So whatever the set of rules and regulation, it is relating to human action. Law attempts to regulate the external action of human being, not the internal action, rather when he is interacting with the people in the society to regulate those human action, external action, law is um, designed. And law recognized and enforced by the state, that's the government, the law which is recognized and enforced by the state, it is enforced by the state on the people. Whatever the rules and regulations enforced by the state which is on the people, at the same time even the government has to follow such rules and regulation which is determined by itself. That means law applies to all without any discrimination. Law always remains supreme when compared to other things, law is in a highest position. Next, we will discuss about branches of law. There are various branches of law. Now, I am going to explain about five branches of law. Those are mercantile law, civil law, criminal law, constitutional law, international law. Let me explain one by one. First one, mercantile law that is relating to business activities. When the human beings are dealing with their business activities, there is a need of some set of rules and regulation that comes under mercantile law. It is that branch of law which deals with the rights and obligations arising out of mercantile or business transaction between businessmen. So business includes trade, commerce and industry. This mercantile law or business law regulates and governs trade, commerce and industry. Second one, civil law. Civil law is a part of private law. It is the law of the state or the law of the land. The main object of civil law is enforcement of the rights which is given to the people in the society. Third one, criminal law. As we know in the society, there are people, those who are committing crimes, so there is a need of some set of rules and regulations to deal with such as aspect. So that comes under criminal law. It is concerned with criminal proceedings, criminal wrongs or crimes which is com committed by the civil, sorry you can say the people in the society. The main object of criminal law is to punish the criminal or crimes which is committed by the people of the society. Fourth one, constitutional law. It is the body of legal rules or principles which determine the constitution of the state. It deals with the structure, powers, 
and functions of the supreme power in the state together with those of the more important of the subordinate departments of the government. Next one, international law. As we know, whenever there is a transaction, they may have business transaction or any such relationship, maybe within the country or with the abroad. In such circumstances, there is a need of some set of rules and regulation which governs the transaction, maybe the business transactions or relations when it is made between two or more nations that comes under international law. It is the body of rules which govern sovereign states in their relations and conduct towards each other. The primary objective is to regulate the conduct and relations of independent states that is nations towards each other. So here Whenever there is a transaction, business transaction, maybe export, import or interport or any business transaction or any other relationship to our more country, there is a need of some set of rules and regulation that is dealt in international law. So just I'll have the glance. We have studied in this video. One is the meaning of law, so rules and regulations or the code of conduct which is enforced by the state on the people and essentials of law which is to control or regulate the human actions, the two external actions and here it is imposed by the state, even the state comes within the purview of those and it is supreme, the law is supreme and which is applicable to all irrespective of the uh, party or you can say there is no discrimination with regard to the law and we have discussed about the branches, there are five branches, one is commercial or mercantile law or a business law, second one criminal law, civil law, international law and constitutional law. So that is regarding the branches of law. Thank you for listening.